welcome to this video of IBM Watson Studio do-it-yourself tutorials in this video I'm going to talk about an introduction of Watson Studio and what is it we will explore the product and then we will do a use case for customer churn analysis so predictive analytics on Watson Studio the use case we are going to talk about is customer churn analysis now in order to do that the first step is go to ibm.com slash cloud slash watson watson hyphen studio all you can do is search on google on watson studio you will be landing on this page and then click on start your free trial as soon as you click on this one obviously i have an account so if i have an ibm account i can just log into my ibm cloud account which was earlier known as ibm bluemix now they changed the name to ibm cloud and if you do not have an account then you can create one and say next it's free of cost you don't have to enter your credit card details or anything like any other uh, cloud platform once you are here you would see ibm watson studio something like this please note that when you open it for the first time it will ask you to accept some conditions or continue and you know it will give you a basic tour but at the end of it you should be able to see this platform which is start by creating a project the so let me let me just uh, make you comfortable with the ui here on the top you can see projects uh, there is no recent project nothing you will just create a project for now project is a namespace or a folder or a logical uh, area where you can write your code your studio experiments and whatnot uh, this is catalog we'll talk about it later what services are available the compute service watson services we're going to talk about these services as well and then there is a manage wherein you can manage your storage your environment run towns your billing and all those stuff so for now what I'm going to do is create a project. So let's create a project. Now there are multiple types of projects you can create a standard data science, visual recognition, deep learning, modeler, analytics, data engineering and streams flow. So for now, we're not going to worry about it. We'll just select create a project standard. And our use case is customer churn analysis. So I'm going to write BDCS customer churn predictive analytics predictive analytics customer churn. So just let me cast churn. You can write description here as well. But apart from that, you can click on add a storage it will open another window and for now we are going to select a light version which is free so it's a free tier it's a light light version with 5 gb of public cloud 10 gb per month data retrieval this is a good one let's click on click on create it's going to say confirm and you can uh, give a service name i'll just let it be as it is and say confirm so as soon as you say confirm it's going to take some time to create the cloud storage so the storage is created for all your artifacts to be from the watson studio so be to be saved in that storage so just click on refresh you saw this cloud you can write description this is my first project on Watson Studio doesn't matter you can write as many as 3000 characters here and then click on create it's going to take some time I'm going to pause the video now it's created you would see an environment like this here is your BDCS predictive analytics customer churn the name of your project and then you can see we have one collaborator which is obviously me but apart from that no assets no bookmarks nothing 
Now let me just quickly give you a tour. So on the left hand side you would see some main description that how much storage is remaining, collaborators, collaborators, bookmarks, you know everything else. On the top here you can see assets. So at this point in time I don't have any assets like data asset I don't have and data. Now what you can do is you can click on add to project and then find out what kind of asset you want. For example, if you want to do a dashboard or an experiment or a streams or uh, machine learning or natural language processing, there are a lot of assets which you can develop in the IBM Watson Studio. So I'm going to walk you through later. Uh, on the environment, you can see or add, uh, there are 50 unit R's being laden in the plan. So if you're not using it, it's always a good idea to stop the service or active runtime. I'm going to show you later. For now, there is no active environment runtime, but there are so many environments available. Uh, Python 3.5, 3.5s, XS, R, Spark Python, Scala, uh, Spark R, and Python. So I'm going to talk about everything else in a few minutes. Next is bookmarks. So if you have lots of projects, you can bookmark, you know, what good product projects are available. Then deployments. Uh, once you have the model ready from the notebook or whatever, we're going to talk about it, you can deploy the model. You have access control, whom to give the access to, and then you have settings uh, about the project. So you can configure GitHub and you know different other repositories. We are going to talk about it later. But for now, I'm going to click back on overview. Now let's understand the use case. The use case is that we want to find out how many customers are at the risk of leaving your service or your product. It depends upon a lot of uh, planning and data and uh, by the way, this uh, IBM Watson use case is available on GitHub via IBM. So all I am doing is giving all the credit to them. The idea was to implement customer churn analysis from the GitHub of IBM shared data as well as the platform. And they have written the code in R. And I'm going to write the code in Python. So I'm going to take a change and write the code in Python in front of you. Customer churn, predicting customer churn with Watson data platform. This is where we are using the analytics. Please note that the data I'm going to use is going to be this one. So you can download the data. I'm going to put this uh, link in the video description section. And you can download this data set, uh, customer churn underscore data dot zip and start using it. So if you are doing Watson, why not to learn with whatever IBM has provided for your understanding. So in the next video, I'm going to upload the data. I'm going to show you some steps. Uh, thank you for watching.